when we hear this first reading, that we oftentimes focus on Abraham and the great sacrifice he made by offering his son, and rightfully so. But I don't know if you've ever stopped and actually focused on the character of Isaac in this story. That we never remember that Isaac was born to Abraham when Abraham was like super old. And now, Isaac is older, and he's not just like a really young boy, he's old enough to carry a whole bunch of wood up a mountain. So he's at least old and strong enough to do that, which means Abraham's even older than he was when Isaac was first born. And as he's carrying the wood up the mountain, he's like, I, we don't have anything to sacrifice. Like, well, and then Abraham's like, don't worry, God will provide. And then it like, kind of basically skips to Abraham tying up his son. Well, I don't know about you, but I doubt someone who's around 100 or older would have been able to overpower this young guy. That this, I always thought Abraham forced him there. But I don't think he would have been able to overpower him. That I think this is actually an expression of Isaac's faith. That he allowed himself to be bound. He allowed himself to be the sacrifice as well. That this isn't being done against his will, but he's trusting in his father who's trusting in God the Father that somehow, some way, even though neither of them see it at the time, God is going to provide. And we see that, of course, he does. You and I today are called to have that same faith. We're in that position in our life today where we don't know what God's going to ask of us. We don't know where God's going to lead us. We may have some sort of direction or we may have absolutely no direction whatsoever. God doesn't show us how our life is going to go every step of the way. He just shows us the next step, and he calls us to trust in him, to have faith in him like Abraham, like Isaac, like St. Maria Goretti, who we celebrate today, like the paralytic in the gospel today. He's calling us to have faith. He's calling us to have trust in him. Even though we don't see where he's leading us, we trust him. And so let's ask the Lord for that grace today, to have faith in him and to trust him no matter where he leads us.